Families living with the pain of losing a loved one to violence make a plea to Cincinnati City Council. Three families of murder victims ask for more resources to help battle violence and solve murders. Angela Ingram joins us live from City Hall with why one family says catching criminals is important for everyone. Angela? Rob, the family of Brian Thompson says that murderers who get away with it are free to kill again, and they're probably emboldened because they don't have to answer for their crimes. The family members say that police are doing their part to help out. Now it's time for the public to step up. Two-year-old Mackenzie is too young to understand her father's murder and that she'll have to grow up without him. Amy Thompson has been raising her niece since someone shot and killed Mackenzie's father, Brian, during an attempted carjacking. I kind of feel like we really haven't got a chance to mourn Brian as the person that he was or as a brother because every day we spend still like taking care of his business and everything that he left behind. Amy fought back tears today as she spoke to city council. She was invited by community activist Hope Dudley to talk about how their lives have changed since the shooting in Lower Price Hill in 2012. She picked Brian as one of the cases, so I felt very privileged to have the time to just keep it out there, keep it on the air and keep his name going so nobody don't forget about what happened. The families and top brass with the police department spoke about the efforts to stop gun violence and solve homicides. They asked for more money for the police, more officers on the streets, and better access to information for all victims' families. Because there's always new leads or new things going on or you hear about somebody else getting shot and it brings back all those memories. Brian's murder is still unsolved, but his family continues to fight for justice. Amy says she owes it to her brother and to his young children. Who is that? Daddy. Daddy, give him a kiss. Daddy. Daddy, give him a kiss. Hold it. You want to hold it? Show him. Hold it up and show him. Say, that's my daddy. And Amy and the other families also say that they are encouraged by city council's efforts to do more for protecting witnesses. Both police and the family stress the importance of people feeling comfortable and also feeling safe if they are brave enough to step forward and testify against defendants. Live at City Hall tonight, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. If you have any information on the Brian Thompson murder, please call our partners at Crime Stoppers, the number 352-3040. You don't have to leave your name, and you can get cash for your clues.